This may be the biggest piece of e-waste I've ever seen, but this month is the biggest e-waste event I've ever seen. So this month, Windows 10 is no mas, no more. Microsoft said, you know what? Guess what? That means millions of computers that are perfectly capable of running a modern day operating system are going to be declared obsolete. Now we've been hard at work here at Salem Techsperts trying to refurbish hundreds of laptops with a very small staff of me and two others. Very difficult. So usually in October, I take a vacation. I go to Las Vegas. I go to your mother. This year I can't do that because this year I'm focusing on refurbishing all of these things for the people that need them. And uh, those are the people that Microsoft and these big corporations don't care about. So right now what you see is a part of my warehouse. I mean, very professional, I know. Uh, we have a bunch of ThinkPads, a bunch of small form factor Dells, and our new cloning station. I wanted to make this video now because I just sold like a hundred ThinkPads and uh, I wasn't expecting them to sell that fast. By the way, thank you for that. You're keeping them out of the landfill. You guys are the greatest purchasers that ever lived. So Lupe is currently going through these ThinkPads. He's gonna clean them up. These are the ones that we get from our recycler and we go through them and we figure out which ones we can clean up, which ones are uh, not refurbishable. They'll go to get scrapped or recycled or they'll become donor computers, which is exactly what we're doing today. So I have a few T490Ss. One needs a display and one needs a fan. And I have a T490S that has a bad motherboard. So I'm gonna take that T490S that has a bad motherboard and I'm going to rob the fan and rob the display. And we're gonna install that into the computers that need them. And that's how you kinda, you Frankenstein it and that's how you make one good machine. These are Dell Latitudes, Dell Precisions. Uh, there's a few ThinkPads that Lupe actually looks like he missed. These guys right here, the T14Ss, the S stands for Sexy. These are titanium models, aluminum, T14S Gen 2s. These are uh, spicy boys. This is Lupe. I don't know if you guys recognize him. He's, he's much more handsome than he usually is today. Check me out, Lupe GE1. So this is the work, this is a part of the workbench, kind of, right? I don't, I don't know what you want to call this. These are all the other ThinkPads that we're currently working on. Uh, we have some old yogas here. Uh, six gen yogas, which are pretty decent. The only yogas I'll mess with are ThinkPad yogas. We have some T480s, T490s. Uh, this is our like issues pile. Um, I usually sleep down there because I have plenty of issues. These ThinkPads need drives. These are all T490Ss and that's what we're gonna do today. Now these ThinkPads may be getting new drives, but we also use recycle healthy drives after they've been wiped to NIST standards to make sure there isn't a shred of data that can never be recovered. Because privacy is important and being spied on is creepy. Even at home when you think you're safe, data brokers are actively working to steal your info. Thankfully, companies like Incogni exist to make sure your private info stays out of the hands of creeps and scumbags that want to abuse it. Especially those creepy people search sites. Incogni also makes sure it stays safe from malicious actors that use it to commit fraud like they did on my wife a few years ago. We had to freeze her credit, change her cards, it was a nightmare. Now I never want to go through this again, which is why we signed up for Incogni. Incogni acts as your muscle and sends a takedown notice to hundreds of websites and data brokers to help keep your information off the web and away from thieves and creeps. Doing this manually takes forever, and making sure your data stays off is even more time consuming. Incogni handles this entire process for you and makes sure your data isn't just removed, it stays removed. Try it out for yourself. There's a 30 day money back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. And if you do end up sticking with them, which you will, you can use my code TechSperts at the link below to get 60% off an annual subscription. So you can just sit back and watch them fight sketchballs to take back your privacy. When I get these in, I always label them. So this one needs a display. I noticed that because there's a small little pixel you can see on the display. So that is actually a chip in the screen. And on this one, we have a fan error. So we're gonna replace the fan. Uh, on this one, uh, I don't have to read what that one says because YouTube will demonetize me. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is a very common process. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to replace all this stuff because it's very easy. It, anybody can do it. You can do it, I can do it, Lupe can do it. Lupe does a lot of things. Ask your wife. But what I am gonna talk about is how ridiculous it is that I have to do this in the first place. So a lot of these computers are six gens, not these ones specifically, but a lot of the ones in the pile back there, there are six gen Intel CPU, 6th and 7th gens. They run great on Linux. Linux runs amazing on them. But Windows 11 isn't officially compatible with them, even though those CPUs are still perfectly usable because Microsoft decided they don't meet the requirements. So the idea of repurposing all of these 
is a lot of companies, a lot of creators will advertise for you to just buy a, another computer. They'll, uh, they'll get paid by companies that make these new computers and tell you how good the computers are, you should upgrade, blah, blah, blah. The reason I don't work with huge companies like that is because why the hell would a company want to work with somebody that's telling you not to buy their product? It, it makes no sense. Uh, instead, I torture myself and I suffer by refurbishing all of these when uh, I also try to make short form videos, long form videos, deal with sponsors, deal with the business, deal with all the other stuff I have to deal with at home. But the thing is, my morals aren't for sale. If you want to try to see if my morals are for sale, name your price. I'll prove to you that your price is not high enough. And if it is, you will never see me ever again. This is the last video I'll ever make. But seriously, this is an issue that I do feel strongly about. It bugs me when I see all these influencers and all these creators tell you to, to buy a new computer and like uh, how good these new computers are. Brother, you don't know how good the computer is until it's a few years old and you see how it's lasted, depending on the reputation of that company. So ThinkPads, it's safe to say, ThinkPads are generally very reliable. They will last. But, you know, certain laptops like I'm not even gonna say names. Okay, I will say names, Forget HP. HP consumer models are notoriously dog poopy. When I open up Google News, I will see uh, a website from like Gizmodo or some other computer-based tech magazine website, whatever, I don't know what you wanna call it nowadays. Uh, and I'll see an article that says like, HP just sliced $500 off this laptop and they want you to click it, and then they get an affiliate link. So they have an incentive to sell you dog shit. An HP laptop that's going to break in like two years or something like that. And for that same amount of money, you can buy a used ThinkPad or a used Dell Latitude for the same money that will last you way longer. And I'm preaching to the choir here. All of you guys you know, that watch my channel frequently know this, I'm about this life. But a lot of people don't, especially older people. Older people tend to think that you need something brand new, that something used is, it's, it's not gonna last. And that may have been true when they were dealing with used garbage. New garbage is also used garbage, right? It, it doesn't age well, like these HP consumer laptops. I'm just gonna keep throwing HP under the bus here. They don't age well, but business class laptops, like the ThinkPad, like the Dell Latitude, HP ZBook, some of the HP business class models age well, they will last. So Gam Gam can use that for as long as she needs to. Hopefully hopefully uh, she outlives the laptop, but it ain't looking good for old Gam Gam. She smokes three packs a day and it ain't looking good for her. The point of this is these sixth gen, seventh gen computers, there are so many of them, and they are still very capable. No, of course they're not as fast as like the brand new Intel Core whatever the fuck, or the AMD Ryzen 6900X, but they also don't cost anywhere near that, and they will last a lot longer, and when something breaks, you can repair it. They have a replaceable keyboard. The display, look at, this is me fixing the display. The hinges are better. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to spread the word and literally flood the market with these used business class laptops. That's what I'm doing personally, and I see a bunch of other companies that are doing it, and that motivates me, because this is not fucking easy, man. It would be so much easier if I just partnered with a company and then tried to sell you dog shit of a computer that costs, you know, 1300 bucks, 1500 bucks, knowing damn well it's gonna break and not be repairable. But I choose not to do that because I enjoy my sleep at night. I like being able to sleep at night and I have a conscience. Yeah, seeing other companies do the same thing that we're doing is great. So I'm not telling you to buy my laptops. I don't care if you buy my laptops. I appreciate if you do, but I don't care. If you wanna save more money, do this yourself. Try to keep something out of the landfill yourself. And all the jobs that I do, this one I'm doing here, I'm just a part swapper, right? That's all I do. You can do that too. There's nothing complicated about what I'm doing right now. Now, if you're if you're in another country, pretty much fucked, and I am so sorry, I have nothing to tell you, but what you should do is explore Linux, because a lot of countries don't have electronics recycling facilities, but here in the US, we have a lot of electronics recycling facilities, and we have a lot of companies getting rid of these older laptops, older laptops, and these older desktops, because we also are doing uh, small form factors as well, because working at, as a repair shop for nearly 10 years, I know what people use. I know what the average person needs for what they use their computer for. And it's nothing, dude. They don't need a hop of the line i7, you know, Ryzen, again, 6900X. They don't need that, man. Most consumers just need a computer to browse the internet, do some light document work, print some papers or whatever, and pay their bills. And maybe watch some videos or something like that. 
they don't need a gaming machine. I know a lot of you guys are gamers, um, and you're gonna say, what laptop's good for gaming? What desktop's good for gaming? If you really do want a gaming machine, and you don't wanna buy a gaming laptop, get a used ThinkPad a P series or a Precision that has a GPU. That's all you need for gaming is a GPU. Usually these computers come with workstation GPUs that aren't meant for gaming, but a lot of them still can play games. Um, but 90% of people don't use their laptops for gaming. That's why I'm so passionate about this because I've worked firsthand with consumers and I know that they don't need something brand new. I know that they can just use a 6th gen. So when I see a 6th gen going into the, the trash or a 7th gen going into the trash, it aggravates the piss out of me. Linux is a good alternative. The problem with that is it's very difficult to get people to break their habits. Again, 10 years of dealing with thousands of customers face to face, like intimately giving them consultations, People hate change. Once somebody has a habit or has habits, it's very difficult to get them to change. That's why it's gonna be a little tough to get people to adopt Linux. So again, it's up to you to get them to adopt Linux. Just bring over your, your, your ThinkPad that costs 50 bucks off eBay. Bring that over to them and be like, yo, look, you don't have to buy a new computer. You can just, if you're just gonna use your, you're gonna go on Facebook or whatever, gam gam, Look what you can do here. You just click this, click this, you're on Facebook. That's it. There's a certain set of people that only need the most basic things, and Linux could be used for them, but it all comes down to education. You can't just give people Linux computers that are used to Windows computers, um, especially old people, uh, and then expect them to be able to do everything they, they'd normally be able to do. That's what we're focusing on here. We're, we are putting Windows 11 on some of the computers that technically can't take it. We're just bypassing it using uh, Rufus. The thing about that is if Microsoft ever decides to end support on devices that were bypassed, then yeah, it's gonna leave you in a, in a rough spot, which is why I want people, if that ever happens to the computers that I'm selling, you can just install Linux on it. Hence why I made that video a few weeks ago on how to install Linux onto a computer. A lot of these computers, the reason we were hesitant to ship out Linux on them already is because if you use Linux, you're already gonna use your own build because Linux is like women. Everybody has their type, but we at least give them Windows 11 to, you know, it'll work until it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, I don't, again, I don't know if they'll ever do that, but I hope they don't, but it's Microsoft. So if they ever do, that's why I made the video on how to install Linux by yourself. Yeah, so I'm not your average uh, creator because your average creator really just kind of makes videos to make videos. But unfortunately, I chose to operate a friggin' business of doing this while doing creation on the side, even though creating makes way, 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 way more money than what I'm doing here. Oh, I gotta repaste this. All right, we are pasted on the other one. That one is all set to go and is ready to be shipped. These need drives, so that's what we're gonna do now. <sighs> the moral of this video, I know this video is a, a, bit, a bit stale, a bit stale, you know, I don't have the, the comedy and the humor in here. And that's because I am uh, literally too busy right now with all this stuff to be funny. Because the shit that's happening right now is not funny. So if you can do what I'm doing, that's, that's really all I want you to take away from this video, is that uh, you don't have to be me. You don't have to be the greatest technician that's ever lived. You can do this all yourself. So if you can help somebody save some money and keep these things out of the landfill, I beg you to do it. It's not that difficult. And that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You guys are indeed the greatest. Oh, jeez. Andy, uh, your wife wants you. Oh, gee. wait.